chemicals academy so let's move on to other topic of organic chemistry r and this nomenclature and e and this nomenclature so at first we will see r and this nomenclature and for r and this nomenclature it is only for chiral center compound a compound which contain chiral carbon so r is mean rectus and s is for sinister so this is a greek word r means rectus and s is sinister and r is for clockwise rotation and s is for anti clockwise rotation so we will see how this clockwise and anti clockwise is assigned so let's take a compound chlorine hydrogen bromine and iodine so this is carbon and this carbon is the chiral carbon so what is chiral carbon chiral carbon means the carbon which have four different substituents so here four substituents are different bromine hydrogen iodine chlorine and this carbon is a chiral carbon and we have to assign r and this nomenclature for this chiral compound so for at first we have to give the number number for the substituents of the carbon atom so how to give the number based on the atomic number so that's written here number of bases of atomic number so higher the atomic number higher the priority means higher atom will get number 1 then 2 then 3 and so on so we have to give the number so here the atomic number higher atomic number molecule is iodine so iodine will get number 1 then comes bromine 2 then chlorine 3 then hydrogen 4 so most probably uh, usually hydrogen is the lower atomic group so lower group should be at bottom position lower group or fourth group should be at bottom position and if it is not in the bottom position we have to reverse the configuration so we will see that also so here we number the substituents of the chiral carbon now we have to move or rotate from 1 to 4 so 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 and 4 so this motion this rotation is a anti clockwise rotation this is a anti clockwise rotation anti clockwise rotation so for anti clockwise rotation it is s s configuration so this configuration the configuration of this carbon atom is s and if the hydrogen is not at the bottom position then so here hydrogen is at top position then here chlorine then bromine and iodine so now we have to assign the configuration for this chiral carbon so first we have to give number so iodine one then bromine two chlorine three and hydrogen four and fourth group lower group is not at the bottom position and we have to give the assignation so 1 2 3 1 2 3 so this is a clockwise rotation clockwise rotation and for clockwise rotation the configuration is r but here hydrogen or lower group is not at the bottom position so we have to reverse the configuration that means r become s so the current configuration of this compound is s first you assign the uh, give number to the uh, based on the atomic number to the substituents then assign the motion or rotation whether it is clockwise or anti clockwise if it is clockwise then it should be r but check whether the lower atom is at bottom position if it is not at bottom position then reverse the configuration so r become s here let's solve these problems so first problem ch2 ch3 ch3 bromine hydrogen these are the four substituents of this chiral carbon this chiral carbon so first we have to do the numbering so atomic number higher atomic number will get 1 so bromine is the atomic higher atomic number molecule so bromine one then carbon and carbon so here carbon has three hydrogen and here two hydrogen and a carbon atom so this will get higher number so two then 
CH3 become 3 and hydrogen 4. So lower group is hydrogen and lower group is in below position. This hydrogen and CH3 is in below position. So this is this can be written as C. This one is above CH2 CH3 and this one is also above bromine and this is below CH3 and hydrogen is also on below plane. So hydrogen lower group is on below or bottom position. So we don't have to reverse the configuration. So let's assign the motion from 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is a clockwise rotation. So for clockwise rotation the configuration is R. So R for clockwise rotation. And coming to second example. Here the chiral carbon is this one. So first we have to identify the chiral carbon. So this is the chiral carbon. Four different substituents and CH3, OH, H and COOH is the substituents. So we have to number. So oxygen will get higher number. So one. Then carbon, this is also carbon. And here three hydrogen but here oxygen, oxygen. And one more thing, the COOH, COOH is written as C, O, O, O and H. That means C double bond O. C double bond O can be written as C, O, like two oxygen atoms. So here, total three oxygen atoms are there. We, have, we are considering three oxygen atoms for this carbon atom. So it is higher in atomic number. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So hydrogen is at 4th position and lower group and lower group is on above position. So we have to reverse the configuration. So from moving 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 then this is a clockwise rotation. For clockwise rotation the configuration is R. But hydrogen is at above position so we will reverse the configuration. So the configuration becomes S. Actually we are getting R when you rotate this clockwise rotation. But we have to reverse the configuration because hydrogen is lower group is at above position. So coming to third. So here the chiral carbon is this carbon. So this is the chiral carbon and substituents are COOH, hydrogen, CH2OH, C triple bond CH. So which will get higher atomic number, which is having higher atomic number. These three are carbon atoms. But here three oxygen atoms is there. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. And here a carbon and here two hydrogen and oxygen. So oxygen COOH will get higher number. So one. Then two, three, four. So hydrogen is lower atomic group. So hydrogen is at above position. So we have to reverse the configuration. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is a clockwise rotation. So R configuration. But we have to reverse the configuration because hydrogen is at above position. So R becomes S. So the absolute configuration, the current configuration of this compound is S. Now this problem, the chiral carbon, we have to identify the chiral carbon. So this is the chiral carbon which has four different substituents, bromine, hydrogen, a carbon and this carbon. So four different substituents and we have to give the number according to atomic number. So bromine will get first, bromine, then this is carbon and this is also a carbon but this carbon is attached to another two carbon here only one carbon so this will get higher atomic number so two then three then hydrogen will get four and hydrogen is at below position so we don't have to reverse the configuration so when you rotate from one two three this is anti-clockwise rotation anti-clockwise rotation so the configuration is s and we don't have to reverse the configuration h is on below plane so S is the configuration. Now coming to this problem. Here. Okay. Here a CH2 is there. So 
So here two chiral carbons are present. This one and this one. So two chiral carbons are present. So we have to do the configuration. The R and S nomenclature separately for these two chiral carbons. So for assigning this compound, first we have to number the total carbon atom. So one, two, then three and four. Four carbon atoms are present. So we have to number these and then we have to give assignation for two and three carbon atom because two and three are the chiral carbon atom. So we have to give two carbon and three third carbon R and S nomenclature. So we will take second carbon separately. So taking second carbon CHO, OH, then hydrogen and then this substituent, the whole substituent that is CH, OH and the CH2OH. So this is the fourth substituent and we have to give number to this combo. So atomic number oxygen first, then comes CHO. Why? Because two oxygen and a hydrogen. Two oxygen and a hydrogen is present in CHO. But here a hydrogen or oxygen and a carbon atom. So oxygen will get higher atomic number. So CHO will get two and will become three and hydrogen four. So from moving one, two, three, 1, 2, 3. So this is an anti-clockwise rotation. Anti-clockwise rotation. And the configuration becomes S. Now we have to check whether hydrogen lower group is at bottom position. And this is here in horizontal line. Horizontal line is for above plane. So horizontal, horizontal is for above and vertical is for below plane. So hydrogen is on above plane. So we have to reverse the configuration. So S become R. So what is the correct configuration? 2R. 2R. Now we have to assign the configuration for third carbon atom. So taking third carbon atom. CH2OH and hydrogen. Then OH and this whole substituent. That is C. H O H C H O. So oxygen will get 1, then 4. Okay, now we have to uh, 2 or 3 for these two combo. So C, how many hydrogen? 2 hydrogen or uh, oxygen. And here hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon, then 2 oxygen. So this will get higher number. So 2 and 3. So 1, 2, 3. So this is a clockwise rotation. And hydrogen is on above plane. So we have to reverse the configuration. So clockwise R become S. Now 2R, 3S. So the configuration is 2R, 3S. So don't uh, forget to give the prefix number 2 and 3. 2 is for second carbon and 3 is for third carbon, third chiral carbon. So 2R and 3S is the configuration of this whole combo. Coming to this example, so here we have to identify the chiral carbon center. So this is the chiral carbon center. So four substituents, nitrogen, hydrogen, CO and a carbon atom. So for giving number uh, based on atomic number, which will get one number, a nitrogen, a carbon, carbon, hydrogen. So nitrogen will get 1. Now carbon, carbon and carbon attached to oxygen. Double bond oxygen means 2 oxygen. So this will get 2. Then this will get 3 and hydrogen 4. And hydrogen is on below position. So there is no need to reverse the configuration. So 1, 2, 3. So this is a clockwise rotation. So for clockwise rotation, the configuration is R. So this uh, configuration is R. Now coming to this example, this is the chiral carbon. Substituents are CN, CBr, hydrogen and a carbon, double bonded carbon. So CN or CBr, CBr is a higher than atomic number. Bromine is higher than nitrogen. So 1, then 2, then 3. Then hydrogen 4. 
and hydrogen is on above position. So we have to reverse the configuration. So coming 1, 2, 3. This is the anti-clockwise rotation. Anti-clockwise rotation means S. Anti S. And we have to reverse the configuration because hydrogen above then R. So the absolute configuration for this compound is R. Now we can see another nomenclature. E and Z nomenclature. And E stands for antigen and Z for source man. And E means opposite side and Z means same side. So E means opposite and Z means same side. What is opposite and on same side? The higher atomic number atoms or substance if it is on the opposite side then we will give E configuration and if they are on the same side then Z configuration. So let's do this example C double bond C and E and Z nomenclature is for alkenes and R and S nomenclature is for chiral carbon or chiral center compound. So C double bond C H CH3 H CH3. So here we have to assign E and as a nomination for this alkene. So we will take two carbon atoms separately. So first this carbon atom. Then we have to give number to hydrogen and CH3 based on atomic number. So CH3 is more in atomic number. So 1. Then this will get 2. Now we have to give number to this carbon atom separately. So this carbon has H and CH3. CH3 will get 1 and hydrogen will get 2. So if you see 2 and 2 are on opposite side and 1 and 1 are on opposite side. So higher atomic number atoms are on opposite side. So if they are on opposite side then the configuration is E. The nomenclature is E. If they are on the same side then it will be Z. If here CH3 and here hydrogen hydrogen. Then CH3 CH3 are on same side. CH3 and CH3 are on same side and hydrogen, hydrogen on same side. So this is a cis. So this will be Z. So if they are on opposite side, higher atoms are on opposite side, then E and on same side, then Z. So coming to this example, two alkenes are there. So like R and S nomenclature, more uh, compounds having more than one chiral, chiral carbon center, we have to do this separately. So we have to do this separately. First you give uh, E and S nomenclature for this alkene. So bromine will get 1, hydrogen will get 2. Now CH3 and C double bond C. So here 3 hydrogens are there and here what? A big group. So this will get 1 and this will get 2. So 1, 1 on opposite side. So this will be E configuration. Now coming to this alkene. COOH and CHO. COOH means 3 oxygen atom. So 1, then 2. Then here what? This a hydrogen is present. So a hydrogen and a big group. So this will get to 1 and hydrogen will get 2. So 2, 2 and 1, 1. So higher atomic number particles are on opposite side. So this will be E. Now like R and S nomenclature we have to give prefix. So for giving prefix we have to give number. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Why I give, now give number to this carbon atom? One number because COOH is attached to this carbon atom. When you numbering a compound, we have to consider the functional group also. So COOH is on this carbon. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So first carbon E. 1 E. Then second, third. Third carbon E. So 1 E, 3 E is the normal ratio for this compound.